go. The shit like a clown, and the teachers they kicking her out. It's a kill, but she won't say it out loud. All she wanna do is make her mama proud. She wanna be like them other girls, they in another world. She just can't figure them out. Brown face, thick brown, always brown eyes. She put the tears up before the side. She doesn't compromise. She sees well before the shout is wise. Never busy, but mind is occupied. She used to think that I rise. But life is full of surprises. Talent comes in second place, the perfect timing. You should swear that I was ready, but so back then I wasn't rhyming. Funny, other games were staying in my dorm and eating ramen. College had me stressing. College had me stressing. So Father, grant me blessings. Had them on this lonely so Tonight, just help me feel your presence. Give me royal cards with the. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the motherfucking neighborhood. Um. A real bitch hurt from yesterday. Like, I'm old. A bitch can't party, can't... Like, and we wasn't even doing too much. We were just sitting around drinking the champs, enjoying ourselves. And a, a real bitch hurt. Um, Like, I was out of commission yesterday. It's just some things I can't do no more that I used to do. And I'm salty about it. So, yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the neighborhood. If it's your first time in the motherfucking neighborhood, make sure you bring it back to the bottom of the map. Make sure you go all the way to the beginning and watch from the beginning of the journey all the way to the end of the journey. I usually say um where you came in on the journey, but you may have come in in the middle of the journey. So, if you came in in the middle of the journey, make sure you watch all the way to the end. Start at Welcome to the Neighborhood um, and then watch to the end if you want to know a little bit about the channel. Go and see a video called The Thing About Hope. The Thing About Hope. Um... And that'll tell you a little bit about my background, um, partially why I'm doing what I'm doing, and who this fuck, who this resonate, who this, I hope for this to resonate with, I hope for this to resonate with everyone. So I told you guys I would start something new, and I would start something new this week. So um, as much as I don't want to say it, make sure you like to share and subscribe. I learned that this ain't about me, and if I want more people to hear the messages that I really have, and if I'm really here to help. You know, I got to get out my pride and my ego. So like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. When you hit that, if we're talking just um, algorithm, the more you hit the like button, the more you subscribe, the more people can look for me. The more I'll pop up on people's timeline, the more they'll get the messages that I'm giving out. And I really want to share these with the world. So like, share, subscribe. I'm uncomfortable saying it, but I'm going to say it any fucking way because it ain't about me. All right, so today is manifesting monday is manifesting monday what we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about manifesting what is manifesting what it look like and so on mondays that's what that's our thing our theme for mondays is manifesting um let me see if i wrote anything down on my hand me hand. oh and so that's the crazy thing is i wrote what is manifesting i don't know where my work phone is and i'm not about to get up i wanted to give y'all the definition of manifesting but I, i'm gonna go off the top of my dome it's just to bring things in for into fruition um I don't even know how to approach this, but I'll give you just kind of my analogy of manifesting 101. So the thing about manifesting is, um, one, you have to have positive energy to ma manifest. You can't manifest with negative energy. So the example I like to give about manifesting a life that you want um, is going to Starbucks. So when you manifest something, you go, you you decide what it is that you want and and you do all of the things necessary to make that thing come into fruition. Sometimes your manifestations take a little bit longer because they're a lot bigger. Um, I like to, to use the analogy, one of the analogies, and then I'll go into my Starbucks analogy. I got a meeting at once, so I got I can't be on here so long. But my uh, I used to work as an admin, and I had to plan parties. And so one of the parties I had to plan was a Christmas party. And we started all the way in what? june planning for a party in december it took me six months to plan for two hours so imagine how much it'll take you how long it'll take you to manifest something that you want that's really 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 huge um oh excuse me one of the things i like to talk about as per how i think manifesting works is um i like to use starbucks as an example when i go to starbucks you guys have seen me order a thousand times at this point not a thousand but a few times i always go and ask specifically what I, for what i want i never ask for what i want don't want i never go to starbucks and say hey can i get not this not this not this i always go and ask can i get a, a, a grande or a venti peach tranquility half lemonade 50 percent lemonade um 
50% lemonade with six or seven pumps of peppermint. And y'all know I usually get my pumpkin loaf. And um, sometimes I get a ginger turmeric milk. Ginger turmeric milk. Um, I get these especially when I when my tummy's feeling weird or I have hangovers. Um, so I get those. Um, and then I go, I pull up, I pay. Sometimes I wait a couple minutes. Sometimes I don't wait a couple minutes. Um, it just depends. And then I get that thing. That's manifesting. But think about that with life. When you when when you are going into the universe, when you're asking the universe for something, you you specifically don't ask for the things you don't want. Ask for if you want a, a fucking peace, tranquility, 50 percent lemonade and seven pumps of peppermint. Ask for that specifically and in detail. Um, and when you go to Starbucks, you already know they're going to give you what you want because you're going to pay for it. You're going to do the thing that it takes to get you what you want in order to get you tell them what you want. And then you pull up and you and there's a price amount to that. You can get this if you do this. If you pay this amount of money, then you do this. And that goes into the negative and positive um, energy you have to have you have to have to manifest you can't go to starbucks with no money with a negative bank account and get the drink you want that's kind of how the universe is you can't ask the universe for something with negative energy and think that he's gonna give it to you and the crazy thing is when you go to starbucks and you ask for that drink you already know you're gonna get it so since you know that you're gonna get it you don't doubt it a problem a lot of people a lot of one of the problems that people face when they're manifesting is they ask for those things but because it's not as quick as starbucks they lose belief in, in, in the fact that they'll get it. They start to doubt it. And that's how you lose your, your, the thing that you're trying to manifest. Cause sometimes we give up belief right before we get the thing. And depending upon, like I said, what you're asking for, it might take a little bit longer. You can't ask for, you know, this amazing husband or this amazing job or this amazing thing. And it just comes to you like that. Sometimes God got to move some shit around in the background in order for you to get what you want. He got to go fucking make the fucking latte. Sometimes making the latte take a, a year or two. Depends on what it is that you want. And and you have to still like while he making the latte or the thing that you want, you still have to be consciously putting things in action to get what you want. Like if I want a good relationship, I can't keep allowing and having fuck ass people in my, in my energy because I, I don't have space for the thing that God has for me. So when you manifest, you have to make space for the thing that you don't have just yet. And a lot of people don't know that. They just think that, well, I'm going to just fill this space until God give me something. Now, nah, sometimes you just got to be empty so that you're prepared to receive whatever it is God has for you or whatever it is we're manifesting. Sometimes we manifest against ourselves. Sometimes we think that we can hold on to other things while we, we wait on what God got for us. And sometimes we give up on God because we don't get the shit we want when we want it. Not understanding that it's a process. You don't just go to fucking Starbucks and ask for a drink and it automatically just pop up in your car. That's not how it works. Somebody has to do some work behind the scenes. Some shit that you not motherfucking seeing for you to get what it is. And once they give you that thing, you have to have a positive amount of money. You have to have a tangible amount of money to get that thing. You know what I'm saying? So... And you have to give that money to get something. And that's what it is with manifesting. You can ask God for something, but what can you do to be proactive and what it is that you want to manifest in your life? A lot of people not being proactive. A lot of people just sit there and don't and, and just wait for God to just be. God is not a fucking genie. He's not. Get over it. He's not. He's not a genie. So, um, that's my that's my my base ground of manifesting how I manifest what it is I want to manifest um sometimes like you don't have to and people manifest different ways what way do you manifest everybody don't manifest the same way so some people write there some people speak there's I write mine I, I write I write and and, <laughs> and sometimes I speak um but mostly I write mine I write down all my goals and dreams. I, I I told you I use the new moon to 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 manifest the things that I want in my life, and I'm an active participant in manifesting the things that I want in my life. So, are you actively participating in your manifestation, or, or are you just trying to give it all a guy and think that you don't have to any to do anything with it? Because that's not how this works. And as long as you try to manifest in that way, it's not gonna come. So. Bringing things into existence. Um, how do you do it? What's the way you manifest? What are you trying to mess manifest? How big or small in it is it? How realistic is it for you to get it right away and not right away? 
everything, everything varies. You know what I'm saying? So that was my little tidbit for the day. So, um, tomorrow is, what is it? Testimony Tuesday. So I told you guys, we are going to, I'm going to try to organize this a little bit more. I'm going to try to make it a thing. One of my gifts is I'm really good at teaching. And so I'm going to use this to teach you guys little tidbits about shit. So this was your daily dose of manifesting Monday. You know what I'm saying? So figure out how you manifest. How, how many times have you manifested against yourself? Are you manifesting against yourself? What is it that you want? What's the timeline you have set? Is that timeline realistic? Is If it's not realistic, you know, find one that is realistic. So, and, and are you mani- are you manifesting from a positive or a negative place? Because no matter how much you try to fake positive, the universe can read your energy no matter what you try to fake. So you can't fake positive with God. You can't fake you can't fake positive with the universe. And that's a thing too. So if you trying to manifest something and you ain't getting it, maybe check yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Make sure you check out that video too. Um, shout out to my fucking puffball bitch. There be a popping, be a popping. Um, so there's that. Let me hop up and go get ready for my meeting. I'm probably gonna take my meeting down here. I'm trying not to go to sleep so that I can sleep through the night. I don't know. My sleep been weird. It's just like I can't turn my mind off. Um, so there's that too. Um, but it's Monday. Eh. Monday, Monday, Monday. Man, I mean had a I I have had such a crazy weekend. Um Pluto went direct. So the only thing I had a dream about this. The only thing that is um that's still in retrograde is Neptune. And that's very interesting. Um, but that part, that part. So happy motherfucking manifesting Monday. Uh, what's your dreams? What's your goals? How do you mark them? Do you mark them? And it's for old and young. It's for everybody. All, um, this goes out to girls all around the world, all around the world. This goes out to everybody all around the world. All right, y'all. I am, I just, Random. I just got finished watching the Adams Family. I think I liken myself to the Adams Family. I like my family to the Adams Family. I love that. Like, I, this the Adams Family values. It's a phenomenal movie. Um, and I I love the the sick, dark, twisted relationship between um, Morticia and her husband. That's the kind of husband I want. I want I, I want that. Um, be careful. Also, be careful when you mess, manifest and be careful what you pray for because you might get what you want and, and it might not be exactly what you thought it is. That's the thing too. Um, but just got finished doing that. So today I'm just working, not work, trying not to work too much. Just trying to relax. My house is kind of straight. My clothes are filthy. They're like, I got a big pile of clothes that I got to go take to, to wash, but I don't have a washer in my house. So I have to go wash all my property on the property. So that's a thing too. But testimony Tuesday, be on the lookout for that tomorrow. You guys have a great motherfucking day. Have a great day. I'm going to take us out on some motherfucking chica. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you feel like what I'm saying is helpful. If you feel like it's somebody that you want to see this or you hope somebody else can see this and hear this, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hate saying that. I hate being, I feel like that's so cliche, but it ain't about me. It's about God. And I really got to get out my fucking feelings. So it's a uh, brand new fucking beginnings. It's a new year, new time. Fuck it. So let's go motherfucking get it. Like, hit the like button subscribe if you would like to i i do videos almost every day um and i'm just trying to be a hundred with you so that i i make the mistakes so that you don't have to y'all have a blessed motherfucking monday have a blessed motherfucking monday you go get it because if you don't you already fucking know somebody else will call me lauren as i what i do you Say is real and spit is facts and any dream I have is valid, so I'm never going back. Listen to the voice inside.